what I'm going to go through in this video is how you can limit access to a dispatch command by password protecting it or having it check whether or not you're logged in as a specific user like admin. So uh, I'm going to go into the dispatch environment in this vault that I have here and I'm going to just create a dummy uh, a dummy script here. So test script and we'll call it uh, test for validation, description on it. We'll run it off a menu command, um, test validation script. And we're going to need some variables in this um, that we're going to use, but actually let's put in some, let's put in some dummy result in here as well. We'll just put in an OK message box that's going to present something to the user. So we'll say script would run here. So it's just going to put up a message there. This is where you would have all your commands uh, that you'd be running. Um, and what we want to do is build something around this to validate it. So uh, I'm going to start by putting in some some variables for this. And my first variable is just going to be something that's going to be a placeholder for a password that a user would enter. That has to be a runtime variable since it's going to be a placeholder. And we'll add one more in here. Uh, and this is going to be just checking for the user information, so the name of the logged in user. All right. So uh, we'll start with um, uh, some information at the end of this to just say when it's done. So we'll add another command in here, and it'll be another OK message box to let the user know that uh, this is finished. This is especially useful if you have like a looping type um, a script that's where you select maybe dozens of files, and it's just going through a loop on those, and you want to see when it's done. So we'll put that at the end of our script here. Now we need um, something here for starting the script, uh, a label location to say to start start here, some kind of a, a destination to jump to later. So I'm going to put in a label that's called start script and that really should be above where our lines of code would be for our script. And we'll add another thing in here, an end label, another destination to go to. So we'll add that and we'll just call this end. So there's going to be a bunch of checks that go on in here and uh, they're going to be checking for you know whether or not you're logged in as admin or whether or not you got the right password and if those are correct we would wind up jumping to this start script and then the script would run but otherwise we're going to be jumping to the end so um, in order to jump to the end I need that in there so I'm going to say let's put in jump basically if it got this far so we're saying always go to end move that up above the start script. All right. So the first one we're going to do here, the first check we're going to do is we're going to check if it's logged in, uh, if the logged in user is the admin. So I'll add that in. We're going to have another jump command in here. And if, so user defined variable that we created, that's kind of falling off my screen here, is, you know, there's a user. If that is equal to admin, then go to start script. Makes sense. If, if it is the admin, it's going to start running our steps of instruction that we want to go through. Let's move that up to the top. So if it's not the admin, it's just going to go to the next step. And in this case here, we're just saying go to the end and done. Um, 
So let's add something else in here. Uh, we'll add in an edit box to put in a password. So edit box, prompt string, please enter password. That's going to be put in our placeholder. That runtime variable we set up, d underscore password, we'll OK that. So that's captured. It's prompted, prompting the user. It's captured then inside the script. What we'll do is we'll put in here another jump. We're saying if password is equal to my password. So you put some kind of a password in there. Uh, then go to start script. So first thing is checking, checking if it's the admin. If it is the admin, it's just going to go right down to start script. It's going to run the script. It's going to then finish up and say done. If it's not the admin, then it goes to the next step and it gives us the edit box to fill in a password. It checks if the password meets, matches what it's supposed to be. If it if it is, then it goes to start script again. Otherwise, it goes to the next step. The next step would be going to the end, which would be skipping the script. So let's put in a message to the user if they put in the wrong information. So we'll we'll go in here and we'll add an OK message box saying you must be the admin or enter the correct password to run this script. So this is just a message to the user letting them know that they didn't get the right information in there. It's going to just skip down to done is what it's going to do then. So at least letting them know that it wasn't executed. And that's pretty much it. This should password protect or limit access if you're not the admin. So we'll say OK to that. We have to back all the way out to try this out. And then we'll go into our fault here and just say let's run the test validation script. And since I'm not logged in as, as admin, it's asking me for a password. If I just put the wrong information in there. You must be to run the script. It didn't show me that it worked. Let's do it again. We'll say uh, test validation script. This time what we'll do is we'll put in my password. We'll say OK. Script would run here and then it would be done. So that's the way you can limit access to the usage of a of a dispatch script.